Your bloody foot is all up in the. I guess you can call that bloody shoes. Ha ha ha! I make bad jokes when I'm scared. What up? It's Jacob, and welcome back to my channel, Jacob Games. And welcome back to Red Dead Redemption 2, part number 39. Bruh, this has been my longest walkthrough yet, and I'm so happy that I'm blessed enough to be able to do this. Um, I want to thank y'all for the ones who watch on a regular basis that support me. I really appreciate it. Especially you, Jose. You always watch my content. You always comment. I always respond to you. Um, um, I'm so thankful for people like you. Uh, honestly, I hope I, I hope I get more of you. Um, you know, in the coming months and years and stuff, as I uh, as I grow, and I hope y'all stick with me as I grow. Uh, I can only get better. I can only learn more from here, so, um, with that being said, I'm not even gonna plug myself. I'm lying. Go buy a shirt. <laughs> Let's get started. Alright, we're back in it, baby. Look at this view. Arthur Morgan looking like a gangsta out here. So, last time out, we did... The Eagle Flies mission, and we blew up the oil refinery and all that stuff. So now I want to head to... I want to head up here, actually. Um, to Marco Dragic. He's in Dewberry or something like that? Isn't that what it's called? Come on. Pull it up. Dover Hill. Dover Hill. So I'm going to go ahead and ride out there. And, um... If nothing interesting happens in the meantime, I will just see y'all when I get there. Come on, girl. <laughs> and right there over the bat, something interesting. I've line. seen him before. I don't know if I've if I've stopped though. Help a blind man. Okay, here you are. I see the morrows and see them clearly, sir. Even when all reason is lost and all truth has become lie, you will stand firm. For loyalty is both your saving and your curse. All right, well, I'll have to take your word for it. Huh. He sounds like he's like. Okay. Are you still girl. here? What are you yeah. waiting for? Morning, I can't tell you what you want to hear. Huh. Um. <laughs> so yeah, that that's cool. He he kind of like prophesied a little bit yeah. to him. I wonder what's gonna happen. I guess it's something to do with the story. I'm, I'm assuming. But uh. Anyway, since that's out of the way, and nothing else happens now, I will, I will auto save. Yes, because we always do that in every video. It never fails, and it surprises me every time. But it never fails. I'll see y'all when I get there. All right, we're getting close to his uh, laboratory now. Looks like. Uh, so we in we in new territory. We haven't ever been up here before. At least I had. Did he go off the map? I have a, and by the way, I have a bounty because some some people tried to rob me and I killed them. And this somebody was passing by and they saw it. I don't know. I don't know how I got like a Um, and I don't understand. I don't understand why I can't get inside here. I 
don't understand why he is not here now. So... I see some cool stuff happening in there, though. Maybe it's time sensitive. Showing up because he was just here. What could he have gone? He doesn't show him anywhere else on the map that I can see. All right, <clears throat> go ahead and wait. All right, we're back in Saint Denis now. Um, that little mi the other mission still hasn't popped up yet. I don't know why. I really wanted to do that, but anywho, let's just let's jump on a horse and let's see what Dutch is up to. Hey. I do like this city. I mean, it's cool. Look out. A dragon restaurant. Where am I going? <laughs> oh, it was right here the whole time. Oopsie doodles. I could probably go through here. I wonder if I can go through here. Nah, let's not test it. I ain't no telling what'll happen when I go back there. <laughs> I don't want to leave my heart. Alright. I know it ain't been much going on. I'm sorry about that. But it is what it is so far. There you are. Come on. Keep walking. You're late. A couple of days in this place, you turned into some clock watching city boy. What's the urgency? We need to leave. Forever. We've been doing well, making money. But for us all to leave together, we need enough for a boat. Now, I found a friendly ship captain. He's willing to take us to Australia or Tahiti. We just need to pay for passage and give him money for land when we get there. No questions asked. We will disappear, be reborn. Well, where the hell is Tahiti? South Pacific, an untouched paradise. Who lives there? Tahitians, I guess. We made a bit of money on that riverboat job, but not enough for us to leave and live peacefully. Where's the rest coming from? In there. So we are gonna rob that place. Well, I didn't think we was fixing the plumbing. I don't know <laughs> if you have noticed, but we are on the clock. I reckon we got a few days before the Pinkerton show, and then well, we're done. Now we need money. Bronte said this place has got money. Come on. Wow, we going Ladies in there like that. Gentlemen, this is a robbery. Behave as I tell you, and none of you will die. Annoy me. And you all will. Now remember, we just want money. Don't make us kill you. Okay. Mr. Ed, Give me everything you got. Fine folks Quick. Their valuables. Mr. Ed, check that room back there. I got this one. Dying. That's your choice. Not mine. Kindly open that gate. Man, I'm I'm all I'm doing is losing uh, honor help. doing this. Do I have to uh, do it? Because I lose honor. I don't really want to lose honor. If I can help it. Do you want me to frisk him? Or you got this? What are you doing, bruh? Come on. These folks must have something on them. Oh, so I have to. All 
your money now. Don't make me ask twice. Okay. Fine, it's yours. A dollar. Now, I'm gonna need everything you got on you. Of course, of course. Just take it. A dollar thirty-nine. Cool. A dollar thirty-nine. There's nothing much here. What? There's nothing really here. You're sure? Yes. Then get out here and get ready for company. All of you! Behave. We don't want to hurt any of you. Mr. M, check the safe. Sure. Open it. I don't think they keep much cash in there. Open it! All right. Looter, bro, what you doing? There's almost nothing here. There should be stacks of cash in there. He told us there was. Look again. There's no stacks. A few dollars in coins. That's it. Damn! We got a problem. There's a ton of cops out there. Oh, great. Ah, we got you surrounded. That's greasy son now. of a bitch. He set us up. You think? You seem like a good time for sarcasm to you, Arthur. What are we gonna do, gentlemen? Something. The trolley. The trolley! Follow me, gentlemen! Go! Now! Go! Wow. Does this trolley go to Tahiti? I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> the thing's broke. Hold on! Oh my god. This reminds me of uh, GTA 5 whenever they flipped over that, that bank truck. Wow. That hurt. Dutch. You okay, Dutch? Oh, I'm shooting. Why do I have this weapon? Why don't I have... Why is it the default go to that every time? That doesn't make sense. You you okay ah. I'm fine. What the heck? Shot, but he got him anyway. Come on, Lenny. Well, we got some action now, gentlemen and, and ladies. Guy before we go. This right. way. On to the street. Come on. I'm ready. Oh, come on, 
come on, come on, come on, come on, don't do this. What the heck, bro? Why can't he shoot? Let's go, let's go, let's go, move, Arthur. Oh, I thought they were going this way. Oh my god. Why why can't he aim all of a sudden? I don't understand why he can't aim anymore. Probably messing up my objective. Would you dug down, you idiot? What is happening to my aim? I'm trying to, bro. Just calm down. I don't, I don't understand when I'm aiming at the head. Why I won't hit him in the head. That sucks. <laughs> kind of turned out terrible. I, I don't like, really like how it went. You okay back there? Don't worry about me. Just get us out of here. Well, we're done with Saint Denis now. That is for sure. Whoa! I think we're clear. You know what, Dutch? Next time, let's not damn discretion. Seemed like a good lead. I know, but... Well, we made it. <clears throat> thanks to you. Don't mention it. Yeah, you're a good kid. And we each got... $15. Wow. Oh, and a quarter. And Don't a quarter. Don't forget the quarter. Shut up, Arthur. He set us up. <clears throat> Played me like a yokel. Put the law on us? What 
did we do to him? What did I do to him? I guess he thinks he's the king around here. He don't want the likes of you. So, what are we doing next, Judge? We just need money. One more decent take, and we're gone. The bank is our bet. Jose agrees. Even after that, especially after that. I don't feel so good. Now you just got a bash on the head. Come on, I'm taking you back to camp. Hey, you did real good there, Lenny. Just wish it could have turned out better. Well, you can't win them all. Well, that sucked. I did horrible. Let's see how horrible I actually did. Rob all the customers in the trolley, okay. Prevent any lawmen from jumping on the back of the wagon. I don't remember him ever doing that. I didn't shoot the the uh, the dynamite. Um, I killed ten lawmen. I didn't kill ten lawmen while I was on the trolley. So that uh, I don't know what happened there. I'm sorry. So, where the heck is my horse? And and what what's it looking like now? A hundred and sixty-five dollar bounty. Insane to me. And you can bet they're looking for us. You can bet that. And he still ain't popped back up yet for whatever reason. So, let's go and do the next part of Dutch's grand scheme. Should be great. Where the heck is he? How do I get there? Yep. Alright, so... I will see y'all when I get there. Alright, we made it back to camp. <clears throat> I think got $12 in the bank. Man, we doing good. <laughs> what is this chore over here? Corn. Take it to Pearson's Wagon. So we're gonna do that on the way. What else is here though? They have like Coach Robbery with Micah. Uh no. I ain't doing nothing with Micah. You can forget that. Getting to where we need supplies for an army. Yep. I can't talk to her while I'm carrying this. How stupid. Alright, let's go drop this junk off. We're at over here. Yeah. Arthur, come up here. Alright, put it down. Alright, we did that. Cool. Got some honor for it too. That's a quick way to get some honor doing chores around. And uh the gang usually will uh put more in into the bank the will contribute there we go that's the word I'm looking for uh, if you do chores and stuff but let's get in here so Arthur you get the deciding vote about what we take an insult and scurry off like cockroaches but deal with business the right way. We don't need to take revenge. We hardly know the guy. This ain't about revenge, Hosea. Angelo Bronte don't mean shit to me. This is about the fact we are planning to rob a bank in his town. A bank that he no doubt protects. A town where his men are gunning for us. Before we do that, we need to put him I out of commission. I disagree. There's always an easier way. There ain't no easier way. Now, I know his type. He is a vindictive little power broker who rules by fear. Now, we pull that stunt in his cesspit of a town. We're doomed. You want to leave this place? Leave this country? We need that money. I just don't feel good, Dutch. This is it. This is the last job that we are ever going to pull. Before the year is out, That's we are going to be harvesting mangoes in mangoes. Tahiti. Farmers. But we need seed capital. 
and we need to leave. Yes. You know it. I know it. Forgive me if I can't think too much about the mango harvest. This is I'm... it. Trust me. Arthur. If it's business, well... Business is business. Angelo Bronte stands between us and our future. You'll damn us all. Uh-oh. Arthur, come on. You better be right about this one. I am. Oh, so we didn't really get a choice, I've per se. I've heard that before, and usually I've been right. Uh, if you say so. Quit doubting, Arthur. It does no favors. Come on. A boat? All right, let's We're go. headed to a settlement called Le Grand. I met a boatman there oh my. called Thomas who knows these waters like the back of his hand. We, Why do we need a boat? Going to the swamp, so we dude. can attack Bronte's mansion from the swamp. Catch him off guard. He knows we survived the trolley station, so he'll be expecting some kind of reprisal. Alright. Okay, makes sense. See? I do still possess some capacity for rational thought, Arthur. Are you sure? Okay, follow me. Following you, Dutch. All the way to the grave, most likely. <laughs> I think the story Thank is really you. good, though. For what? For taking my side back there. It ain't about sides. Feels like Jose has lost his spine. This move on Bronte, is it for the bank job? Or revenge for what happened at the trolley station? Both. Neither. What does it matter? We need to hit that bank. And Bronte has the police and just about everything else in San Denis in his back pocket. He also set us up. And lest we forget, took young Jack. I understand. We just got a lot of pots on the boil, given all the folks who's out gunning for us. You all seem to have forgotten how money is made and what it takes to support 20 people. Let alone what it takes to give 20 people a new life overseas. With all due respect, Dutch, is this Tahiti plan really going to work out? You tell me, Arthur. Is it? Have some goddamn faith. I am bending over backwards to make a future for us. I know, but... But, but, but... When did you become so small-minded? If you'd rather we break up the family, go our separate ways, just tell me. Of course not. This isn't a prison camp. I am not forcing anybody to stay. So either we're in this together, working together to get out together, or we're not. There simply isn't a reality in which we do nothing and get everything. I know. You're right. Just feels like we're on borrowed time again. I mean, the old Driscoll's found us. Yeah. We need to move. And soon. Haven't I made that clear? I feel like I'm going in circles with all of you. Micah. Is the only one left with any loyalty. He's a psychopath. Now, that ain't fair. You are talking like John. I swear that woman is poisoning him against me. I've seen it before. What's the problem here? There ain't a problem. You think Micah would question going after Bronte? No. He'd say, let's go. I'm here, ain't I? I've been at your side for 20 years. Yeah, bro. I know. I'm sorry, son. It's just the endless debate about everything is wearing me down. The others I get it, bro. I can take. But when you're not behind me, it hurts. I'm behind. Literally. Blackwater, Valentine. Rhodes. Sean. Kieran. I promise. None of it will be in vain. Anyway, here we are. Let me do the talking. You've been doing it this whole time, bro. <laughs> like, 
Literally the whole time. I haven't said a word. <laughs> oh, he's stressed out, man. I can understand it. And the alligator just jumped in that water. Thomas. It is good to see you, my friend. Hello, Mr. Dutch. Thomas, have you met Arthur? Arthur? Thomas is quite the boatman. He's gonna help us get close to our prey. He's one of them swamp people. The other night we had quite eye. the adventure fishing for catfish. Like Fetty Wap. Now, my friend. Can I call in that favor? What do you need? 1738. You know Angelo Bronte. Yeah, babe. Well, Stop. exactly. We need to make a social call. We were hoping you could row us in quietly one evening around the back of his house. Well, if anyone can, I can. We'll pay you for your trouble. Look, if you bringing him trouble, it won't be no trouble for me. Good. My business partner, Jules, he's out on the skiff. I need to check with him. Plus, I need to check the traps. Would you come with me? Of course. Arthur? Let's go, bro. Why not? It shouldn't take too long if we can find it. Be live. Mind you, there's a lot of gators. Uncommon number. Big ones. Great. <laughs> oh, now, Arthur? It'll take more than a prehistoric reptile to scare you, Shirley. I just want to see you meet your match when it comes to a, an aging predator with a big mouth, Dutch. <laughs> Arthur here is something of a comedian, Thomas. More of a jester than a gunslinger. Well, if you say so, Mr. Dutch. This way. Come on, this way. Follow me here. And stay on the high ground. You call Bro, this don't ground, worry. It feels like water to me. Down here, we can't be too picky there, Mr. Arthur. That's true. Got a couple of crayfish traps up ahead. Don't call it that. You know better. You know better. I see a gator over there. Look. Check the traps with me. Bruh, they got a gator right there. Look at them big old gore fish. Holy cow. This one's empty. All right. I got a few more set over this way. Come on. I don't want to know what just touched my leg. Mr. Dutch, Bruh. you show you the right fellas to be going out to Angelo Brunton? Oh, he's much more the kind of reptile I can handle. <laughs> Man. Now stay close. Make sure you follow my Is that right? Oh, I fully Raymond? intend to, Thomas. You too, Mr. Arthur. If y'all ain't never seen Princess and the Frog, you can see why you wouldn't understand that. Waiting though. hasn't caught I'm on saying. as a pastime, can't you? I love it out here. Peace. Nobody bothering you now. Why you waist deep, deep though? The night folk sometimes. The night folk. Yep, some strange people around these parts. Wilder than the animals they are. Well, this just gets better and better. Y'all finna get eaten. Man, get out of that water. We shouldn't be lingering here. Come on. Dude, you the one in freaking waist deep water. Why am I going in here? Oh my goodness, what are we doing? What are we doing? Why? Bro, if water is up to your chest, man, what do you think is underneath you? Freaking 35 foot alligator gonna come and take your hips away. Whoa. Just your hips. His legs gonna be there. It's a gator. Just stay as still as you can. Bro, look at the size. What are we doing? Uh, Bro, there better not be nothing behind me, dude. I don't know what's taking jewels. Man, we out here looking like Bray Wyatt. I think we are all equally keen to find him. He kind of does look like Bray Wyatt. Boy, if I'd have kept that hair long with this lantern. Oh, my goodness. I wish. Should have never cut his hair. <laughs> Man, I just saw something disappear. Oh, my God. Bro, I'm scared. I'm scared. I ain't even joking. I'm scared, bro. Hand here, Mr. Arthur. This trap is stuck in the mud. It happens. Oh, 
Okay. Come on. something didn't want to be caught my god so it's true what is there's been talk of a big old bull but people talk a lot of nonsense i guess this was no but only some huge could do this oh, no, it's weird, bro. let's hope it bites you first dutch there's that big Should white gator that i heard about i don't really want to hang around here much longer all right, I suppose this can wait. Let's go. Man, bro, this sucks. <laughs> Follow the buzzards, y'all. Hold up. What the heck? Why are they racing over there? What's going on? That one is moving, My bro. God, there's no shortage of them. Good eating. Us or them? Exactly. Come on. <laughs> Fried alligator is good, though. I'm not much of a seafood person, even though I live here. But alligator's good. That one must have had like a motor attached to it, though. I reckon we should split up so we can search both sides. Huh? Okay, Martha, since you appear so at home here, you take the right. No! What? Just keep your eyes open. No! Man, no! Why am I by myself? Uh-uh, bruh. Hey, man, what's that? Man, the Ruger, we're gonna get me out here. I don't like this. Come on, let's go faster. I'm scared to go too fast. Jules, is that you? No. That's a crawfish hole right here. Hey! Someone there! Jules! There's a light on in that house over there. Hey! Someone there! Bro, I gotta search all this area. Hello. Oh wow, what the heck? Hey! Someone there! There's something way over there. I don't want to go way out there, bro. Jules! Up here! That must be him. There we go. Thought I seen a light. Hey, you in the tree. What are you doing? There's a monster. Huh? A monster? Huh? What? You okay up there? No. Where? Be Jules. Where is the boat? Over there. I ran. I... Oh. Huh? Okay. Yeah. And uh, where'd this monster swim off to? I think that way. What do you mean this way? You'll need a cannon. I... Oh my gosh. I got two pistols. That's all I got. Oh my gosh, bro. No, man, forget you. You can stay in there. Oh, my Jesus. Oh, I'm going to get eaten. I'm going to get eaten, bro. I'm going to get eaten. I got the scale. It's over here. Oh, no, Lord. Stop. I don't know. Dude. Come. Good man. Uh, 
All right, let's get back to the dock. Yes, please, let's go. Thank God. So, uh, who are these fellas, Thomas? Two new friends of mine. I'll explain later. Jules, we are very happy to have finally made your acquaintance. I thought I was gonna be out here all night. What you doing hiding up in the tree, boy? This gator was huge, Thomas. Twice as big as I ever seen. Twice as angry, too. Nonsense. Ah! Bro, what the heck? I think we hit a tree stone. No. Yeah, I thought we cleared. You're gonna need to jump in and pull us free. Oh, hey, come on, man. Yeah, just do it. Won't take you a minute, boy. Go on. This is a bad idea. Oh, you're gonna be Long before it gets anywhere near No, I doubt it. You'll be fine. You didn't see the thing. Yeah, neither did you. It's just a myth, Jules. Now pull. Come on, bro. That ain't even right. Oh, he's dead. He's gonna die. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Oh, he gone. Oh, I told you. He's gone, man. No, no. What you mean? Oh, my gosh. What am I doing? The guns are wet. The gun... No, no, I want, I want both of them up. Dual wheel, let's go. Come on, man, where is this thing at? Oh, I don't like this at all. Oh, I don't like it. Oh, my lord. Oh, no, oh, no. Where'd he go? Where are you? Where is he? Ah, oh, there he is. I'm coming, bro. Where is it? Oh, you got to be kidding! Oh, he's gonna drown. Face in the water. Shoot something! What you mean? Huh? 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 Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Oh! I saw it! I saw it! I saw it! I saw it! It's big! Your bloody foot is all up in the... I guess you can call that bloody shoes. <laughs> ah, I make bad jokes when I'm scared. Oh my gosh, bro. I'm there, let's go. Oh, come on. Look at that thing. Nice, look how big he is. Shoot that thing. Oh, my it's Jesus. Like Bruh. Re freaking load right now. It's, it's gonna, it's gonna it's get going. him. Shit, that is one big old gator. Oh, your boy doesn't look too good there. Here, take this. Try to stop the bleeding. You're gonna be okay, son. You're gonna be okay. Come on. Just thank your old Uncle Dutch. I heard that. There's still a lot of blood. You need to put pressure on it. All right, all right. I've stopped the bleeding. I think he'll be okay if he don't get a fever. We can bring down a fever. A fever is the least of our worries. Oh my Jesus, Look here it comes back. again. God damn it. Get your freaking guns out. Put every bullet you got in here. Get ahead of us. You see him? Shoot. 
Oh my gosh. I don't know, uh, bro. Jesus. We get back now. You gonna be okay, kid. Sorry, Jules. Guess all them stories was true. Big and mad. That's unusual. Normally the little one's angry. Big one's is lazy. Well, I guess he never outgrew his anger. Kinda reminds me of you, Arthur. You know. <laughs> I don't think I've ever seen you squeal before, Dutch. <laughs> I weren't the one squeal. Yeah, well, you I were would. in the water with her. And this poor boy was nearly dinner. Can we get some help? Jules has been bitten. Oh, my God. There's a monster out here. He's been bitten, but he's alive. Just keep him warm. Feed him garlic for the infection. Thank you. <laughs> Feed him garlic for the infection, bro. I'm at your service anytime you need. Thank Thank you, people, man. Where can we find you? You just meet me back here. Very good. Can one of you help me put the boat back out? Sure. I'm gonna head back to camp and placate the irritable Miss O'Shea, who's causing more trouble. I'll collect the boys. Meet you back here, Arthur. <clears throat> Mr. Arthur? <clears throat> Old Brunty. Bad man. I know. Kill some good folks. Hurt a lot of people. Well, he definitely lacks a certain charm. I'll see you soon. You be Bruh. safe. You got muscles, I think. I, I, I know. Well, yeah. Yeah, I, I know. <laughs> Bro, that was that was intense, man. Look, I'm done. I'm done. Return Jules to skip within a minute forty. Shoot the bull gator five times. Man, I shot him way more than that. Anyway, bruh. Thank y'all for watching. That was that was a pretty cool episode. So it ended up being pretty cool. I got another post mail at the post office. So next time out, we'll look at that. So in the meantime, I hope y'all have a good day. Hope you have a good weekend or a good Monday whenever this uploads. Um, thank y'all for watching. God bless y'all. I'm out.